This exercise tells us that the number of cars manufactured on, on an assembly line at a General Motors plant varies jointly as the number of workers and the time they work. If 200 workers can produce 60 cars in two hours, find how many cars 240 workers should be able to make in three hours. Okay, so this is a variation problem, and let's see what we have. It says joint. Right, so as soon as we see joint, we know it's of the form y equals kxz, right? It, y is changing the same as x and z are changing based on some constant in front there. So x goes up and z goes up, y will go up. That's basically what it means. Okay, so we need to get some better variables here. Let's let the number of cars be c. Um, let's let the number of workers be W, and let's let the time they work be T. Okay, so I'm going to make that a lowercase t. Okay, so that gives us the joint equation here. C equals K um, times W T. All right. The number of cars varies jointly with the number of workers and the amount of time that they work. All right, so next thing we do is we use the data given to solve for k, right? These are all the same. Next, they'll give us some values. They give us the number of workers right there. So let's see, we're still trying to solve for k. It tells us there's 200 workers and they produce 60 cars. 60 goes over here under cars in two hours. Okay, that's our time. All right, that's enough to solve for k right there. We have 60 equals k times 400. So k must be, I'm dividing both sides by 400, 60 over 400. When you have zeros on the top and bottom, you can cross them out like that. Um, so really we're just canceling a 10 when we do that. Six. 40ths, and then let's factor a 2 out of both of those, so that would be 3 over 20. Alright, so here's our new equation. The number of cars equals 3 20ths times the number of workers and the time. Okay, and now, just like in all these variation problems, we'll use this equation that we've constructed to predict some new value. In this case, um, Okay, so now it's saying find how many cars, 240 workers. Okay, so now we're trying to find how many cars, our constant is still 3 20ths, 240 workers. Okay, should be able to make in three hours, so time is three in this case. All right, and it goes to the calculator, and what we get is 108. 108, uh, that would be cars. Thank you.